we have one goal. Find an alligator. Um, how do you spell alligators? Yeah. Hey, we are leaving our Disney adventure. So fun, um, but exhausting at the same time. So everybody is ready for a break day. We are going to the Hannock Hammock State Park and it is in a big cypress forest or swamp, big cypress swamp. And I think everybody in our family has an impression of what a swamp is, even though we technically have not been in a swamp. I think we're gonna hear a lot about, oh no, watch out for the bugs and the ticks and the mosquitoes. So I'm gonna ask everybody what they think when they hear where we're going next. What do you think? Alligator. Bugs. Very muddy and very watery and very lush with reeds and other plants. Oh, look at that. We got a full glimpse all across the board from alligators to bugs to a very descriptive detail from Tegan. I really thought everybody was going to say bugs. swamp and I think we all have our hesitations about heading back into the swamp. I'm gonna try to keep an open mind. I don't think we've been I'm in the not. swamp yet and that's probably what worries me the most is I have an impression of our experience in what we think is a swamp and I don't think we've seen anything yet. I've seen multiple ticks on myself that I have to remove nightly so I am... <laughs> it's only gonna get better from here. Whew. Here we go. back from Disney and our hitch has a pin that goes through it and a locking pin but when I came out in the morning after Disney the hitch pin was sticking all all the almost all the way out like someone maybe took our pin or was going to take our hitch and in all honesty we had a lot of people tell us get a, a locking um, hitch pin and I thought why no one wants this hitch it's so unique because it's the pro pride um, but then after coming home from Disney, we almost lost our hitch. And in all honesty, because it's a unique hitch, it'd take forever for us to get it shipped to us when we're supposed to be moving to the next spot. So on Amazon, I did get a locking hitch pin. It comes with um, little O-rings to keep it from moving and you push it in. And now you need a lock to actually get it off. So feel a lot more secure about this and it actually seem feels more secure so don't let that happen to you and thank goodness we had an extra pin lock i uh wanted to show you something cool that we started making on our blackstone because i don't know about you but i'm always looking for like new ideas on something to cook um while camping obviously we don't like always cook camping food otherwise we'd be eating hamburgers and hot dogs our our whole lives and so i cook like normal meals at home but one of my fa kids favorites from home is like a homemade pizza night so we buy the primo made like pizza crusts and we do them up and i actually can cook them right here on my blackstone they turn out fantastic you just have to put it on low and just keep like rotating your dough um as it's like cooking up and um it's a fun way to do like a homemade pizza night on the road We are at Highlands Hammock State Park here in Florida. We have one goal, find an alligator.
sometimes <clears throat> when we're at certain campgrounds we have to move like in the middle of our stay and this one is particularly hard because it's super crowded we have a really weird site so we're actually gonna have to back all the way out of this road because it's a dead end the other way um and we're like putting our hitch on sideways almost but it is what it is yep keep going perfect good go passenger a little more yep keep coming perfect keep coming she is so impressive i you are so impressive thanks you have a good teammate okay one really cool thing we figured out is when we need things on the road we can actually order things from amazon um and have them delivered to a pickup store so i am here at pack and ship and more to pick up our amazon package that we had shipped here so convenient and so great it's time for ice cream Apparently this place has the best orange ice cream. So we're here to find out. Okay, we got our orange ice cream. You excited? Yeah. And I got a Cobra. Buckle uh, up and make sure that I have $20 yeah. left, okay? Ooh, it Get looks right. like almost soft. Soft? Oh, no. Don't let it disturb. Oh, them. awful. Oh, wow. Liar. Oh, it's good. Whoa. Whoa. That kind of gives you that tart. Oh my goodness. And Let's see. The verdict? What the heck happened mm. to this? Like oh my gosh. Ice cream. This is good. so good. If you're here, come get some orange ice cream. Oh my goodness, yes. Whoa. Hammock Hammock. No. Highlands Hammock State Park. Yeah. Oh I would God. like you all to know that that's the first state park I knew that we were at that Jody did it. I keep calling it Hammock and it is not Hammock. Hammock. Like I thought hammock. it was Hannock Hammock. Right. Oh my gosh, this is so bomb. Oh. Whoa. Whoa is right. Look at the orange ice cream. It's kind of a little orange creamsicle-ish, but a little bit But it's tart. Hot, it's tart higher on sweet. Yeah, it's a little more higher on the tart side though. Mmm. Mm. Wow. You guys just enjoy your ice cream. I'll drive us. Okay. We loved finding those baby alligators so much, we decided to ride our bikes back over to see them again. But this time, we found an even bigger surprise. So we are leaving Highland Hammock. Um, yeah, let's get out of here. They're way too 
Hi. Coming from Colorado when it was cold and snowing, and now in Florida, they've expanded. We've forgotten to pump or deflate them for a lot of time, so they're up in the high 90s, and we're either gonna pop on the road. We have a tire pressure monitoring system, so uh, it's really awesome. So we can use, yeah, we can it? keep an eye on it while we're on the road. So you put that sensor right on the valve there. And then in the, in the truck, I'll show you the monitoring system that we have to keep track of our tire pressure. Super, super important for safety. So we, we check our lug nuts um, every so often and then um, we have our pressure monitoring system so since when we started this trip it was 30 20 30 degrees out um, but now we're you know up into the 90s here in Florida now we have to uh, drop the air in the tires so we thought well let's do this while we're waiting for the dump station we be off we are heading to Ortona South Campground. Campground. Ortona South Campground. Super Camp excited. I'm sorry to interrupt. Yeah, no way. The boats, it's right by, what are those called? Locks, where the boats go down and out to the ocean and back up to the lake. So we're camped right next to it. So we get to watch the boats come and go. Cool. Yeah, super excited. Yeah. So, yeah. But it is hot today. So hot. We, uh, we have some campgrounds coming that have no electric, which means no air conditioning. So, so luckily it's not this one. And we have fans. And we bought fans from Walmart, as you know. So anyways, we are gonna hit the road and head to Ortona South. Ortona South Campground is located right on a river with a lock. Being that we're from a landlocked state, this absolutely fascinated us. Here's how it works. A boat pulls into the lock. Then, the dam door behind the boat closes. The water inside begins to either rise or fall depending on the direction the boat is traveling. As the water level changes, the opposite end dam doors begin to open. The boat then is able to leave the lock. Not only do boats use the lock, but so do manatee. All right, today we are mixing errands with beach time. So where we're currently located, all laundromats close to us don't look very clean and a clean laundromat is what you need to actually clean clothes, by the way. So we decided to go to Fort Myers Beach, which has a beach, and then Kristen drew the straw um, out of one straw to do the laundry. So thank you, Kristen. <laughs> so she's gonna go do laundry. She's gonna drop us off at the beach. When laundry's done, she is gonna come play at the beach and I'm gonna work on an, under an umbrella at the beach. Sounds like a great day. Mm -hmm. 